Hola, buenas tardes. Um, little bit. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Ellis. Isaac. I, I, Isaac. Isaac. Okay. Are you from Monterrey? Yes, I do. Yeah? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Nice. What's your name? Edgardo. I'm Edgardo. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. The Spanish or just English? You can speak Spanish. Ah, okay. <laughs> Me, menos. <laughs> Two menos. Okay. Sí, pero, okay. Sorry. Pero um, entiendo, entender uh -huh. mucho, pero no puedo hablar. Okay. <laughs> La primera vez que me toca ver a ellos aquí, um, no, no los había visto. Soy de Londres. Ah, okay. Y en Londres hay mucho. De eso. Sí. sí y vienes aquí, o sea, you came here just uh, like, like a missionary or something like that. Uh, yeah, um, it's voluntario. Voluntario. Yeah. yeah. So um, I work online and we do this voluntarily. Uh, so I've been here two years. Two years yeah. ago. Okay. Yeah, I love Mexico. Yeah. I like it here. Yeah. Excellent, um, good. And here in Monterey, there's a lot uh, of English speakers, uh -huh. especially people from the border or people who have um, been deported. They don't speak Spanish and they don't have anyone around that can help them. Uh, so we're looking for people like that and anyone who's interested in learning about the Bible uh, in English. Okay. I already studied the Bible. Oh, yeah? yeah, 16 years ago. Well, okay. I used to be I used to be a religious man, okay. a religious man. But uh, I I knew Jesus uh, 16 years ago. Somebody shared the gospel with me, yeah. and and I started a new life with Jesus Christ. Now I I follow Jesus, and I I know Jesus as my Savior. And and, and one question that I, I I want to I want to do to you is, what do I have? If I became a Jehovah Witness, o sea, ¿qué, en qué, digamos, ¿qué beneficio tendría yo si me convirtiera en un testigo de Jehová? Digo, hay algunas cosas que he escuchado de ustedes, right. pero, pero no estoy seguro, ¿ok? Some, some, there are different stuff that I've heard about you, but I'm not sure about it. So, but as I understand, something that you uh, teach is that the, the only true religion in the whole world is the Jehovah Witness religion. Is that true? Well, when you when you said that you discovered Jesus, he uh -huh. became an important part of your life. Uh -huh. What was it about Jesus' ministry that affected you? The not 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 the ministry, but his sacrifice for me. Right. The blood of Jesus. What what the blood of Jesus did in me yeah. is, is because Jesus paid for my sin. Exactly. Because I don't deserve I don't deserve to be with God after I die or for example in the in the new world or whatever you want to name it because yeah. they, I, I know there's some difference on on for example somebody somebody can say or believe that after death you can go to to, to heaven or hell and that's well that's what I've learned on the Bible right now I know there's a, a place of punishment yes I know sometimes people said if God is good how can God send his people into that tarnish or that tournament place called hell. But but what I understand and, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, that place called hell or Gehina as the Bible said. Well the Gehina used to be a place on the Old Testament that doesn't exist anymore. That uh, uh, physical, literal, physical, yeah, yeah physical, yeah. yeah. When Jesus referred to it, he wasn't uh -huh. speaking about the literal place. Correct. But like Correct. many of the things that he used as illustrations, uh -huh. he was teaching a lesson. Exactly, exactly. And, and he used to name that Gehenna place for the for the atonement uh, punishment for the future for right. for our sins, because as as today in the real world, I mean in this world. If you commit uh, murder, or you commit rape, or you commit all those type of uh, stuff, there's a there is a punish you need to you need to pay. And that's it's going to the jail, okay? And for for God, it's the same. If I die in my sins, He is holy, He is pure, He is He's also justice. And 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 if we die in that exactly, uh, let's say position. What we deserve is 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 a a, a, call, a, a place called hell, right. okay. But it doesn't matter if, if you believe or not in the hell. What what it's more important is that after you die, you can be sure that you're gonna be with God, and that's what I learned, and I that was my decision 16 years ago. 
I received Jesus as my Savior. And this is what I'm doing right now here with my son. Uh, so I'm sharing the gospel with, this is my son, Daniel. I can see the, speak English as well? He's learning, he's currently learning. And that's the, that's the message I, I, I said. I don't have any religion because I, I, what I understand in the Bible, uh, the Bible never, never recommend any religion. What Paul says and all the disciples talk about was to believe in Jesus as the Savior. And that's it. That's what I need. Yeah. Well, would you say that throughout the story, the message of the Bible, that there's, a, there's always been a consistent representative on, of God? There's always had a, a people that were the gateway into learning on, and having a relationship with God. Uh huh. Yeah, so um, I guess you could speak of the first, the first man to walk with God. Um, you could talk about uh, Noah, you could talk about Moses, who was used as a representative. As a messenger. Yeah, uh, Aaron, he was the high priest, and then people came through him. If you wanted to have a relationship with, with God, mm -hmm. that was the way. That was the established way that God set out. That was one way or the way in that moment, because yeah. the word wasn't written yet. Exactly. But today you exactly. have the word of God written. We do. So we do. you don't need any, any, um, any more all those messengers or, or special messengers because the word, of, the, the, the word of God is already written. You and me can be those messengers too. To give the message to all the, the people around us. Okay? When Jesus, when Jesus In, died, uh -huh. what did he leave behind? Did he just say, you have everything you need. Um, you can all worship the way that you like to as long as you listen to read what I've said. Or did he leave or somebody a specific uh, arrangement for worship, as had been in the past? Well, the, the message for his disciple was, go around the world yeah. and teach the gospel. I mean, and tell him, teach him what I've told to you. Good. Okay. So if he was teaching the, the gospel, the good news, uh -huh. it needed to be specific, right? It couldn't be any kind of news. No, 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 it no. It couldn't no. be Hare Krishna. It exactly, be, exactly. It's um, the gospel. A, yeah. So it's the gospel. If we're teaching about, for example, the future of um, mankind, what happens when we die? It mm -hmm. needs to be consistent. If someone is teaching the good news in one place and someone is teaching the good news in another place, mm -hmm. do you think it needs to agree? Do you need, it needs does, to... it, does it need to be consistent? Does it need to be... Yes. It does. Yes. So that is one reason why we need an organization, some way that God's people can be trained so that they can teach consistently because otherwise you have you're open to interpretation people say no i don't really like uh, i really like T tell me something yeah tell me something is this the word of god it's not it's no. not it's correct a, this is a guide yeah but for example this what can the bible teach us who wrote this a man or god who wrote this book men men, men wrote this can book. the man be wrong Men can be wrong. Men, yeah, it's yes. always wrong. But what is what is never changed? It's always the same. God's word. The Bible, correct. If you teach the Bible, you can be sure that the message is the same, even if it's in China and England, Mexico. But if you use the word of man, you can be wrong, and because the man can 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 make mistakes, yeah. and that is proven through all the history. Men make mistakes, okay? But God says, I am the same, always. I've never changed, and my word never be, never changed, okay? And, 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 that's, and that is something very important. If you want to be consistent in everywhere you, you are, you just to teach, you need to teach the word of God. It's the same, okay? And something that, it's, that, that God says, it's important to understand. If someone comes to you and he says, that he is bringing you the word of God, like a prophet. And the prophecy that men tell you, uh, let's say, makes real, that is a prophet. But if he says something and it doesn't happen, that man is not a prophet, he yeah. shall die. And Jesus said something similar, didn't he? Uh -huh. If you notice, uh, when Teek's speaking about this issue, uh -huh. he gave an illustration of a tree, as he did on many occasions. Yeah. Uh, but if you notice, he was asked about this question. So he said, like you said, be on the watch. Uh, this is um, Matthew 7. Uh -huh. And verse, he starts by saying, talking about a road. 
Mm -hmm. So he says uh, in verse 13, go in through the narrow gate because broad is the gate Correct. and spacious the road leading off into destruction. Correct. So many people are on that road. Yes. They just accept what they're told. Uh, they don't question. They don't look into the but, scriptures. But that, that is the way we burn. When I burn, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in, that, in, that, in that way. Yeah. And I'm going directly to that door. And that's why Jesus said, if you want to live, you need to come to me. Good. Go out that, that wide open way Good. and come to my way, which yeah. is narrow and it's so difficult. That, that implies mm -hmm. that it would be something that's not something you can just do alone. It's no, not no, no. something that you can just find. That's it why he said, you need to born again. Yes. The man needs to born twice in his life. Mm -hmm. When you born as a as a human, but as a human, and when you born as a Christian or as a, as a son of God, if you born twice, you die only once. Mm -hmm. But if you born once, you will die twice. Why? Because you're gonna die because, as everybody die, but the second death is what the Bible talk about. The second death is when, when in the in the in the judgment, the final judgment. Everybody's going to wake up from the grave and his soul and, and body is going to be together and then God will judge us. But let, we can talk about that, but tell, let, me, let me ask you something. Are you a good person? Do you I consider you be. safe? I try to be. Okay, <laughs> we always try to be. Yeah. But let's, let's say if you are a good, uh, good person as of now. How many lies have you told in your whole life? Have I... How many lies have you told lies. in your whole life? I'm sure many. Many. How do you how do you call someone who tells many lies? Uh, a liar. A liar. Okay. Another another um, another question. Have you taken something that you doesn't belong to you at, at any time on your stolen life? Something? Stolen something. Have you stolen something? Even if it's small, it doesn't Probably. matter the value. Probably. Probably. Okay. I I I also did. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm as guilty as you in that. Another commandment says. Uh, don't commit adultery or don't for, for commit fornication but Jesus said whoever who looks upon a woman to last after her has committed adultery already with her in his heart have you have you seen a woman with lust in your whole life yeah. okay if you die today okay I, I'm not I'm not trying to do uh, I mean I don't want you to that but if you die today and God make just in you by his commandment how would how will he find to you guilty or innocent because you've lied you have stolen if you commit adultery in your heart how will how he will uh, uh, find you guilty well, or, or or innocent it's as you said with being born again mm -hmm. when you are baptized you recognize Jesus as your savior uh -huh. as you mentioned uh -huh. you view him as your only the only way uh -huh. to God then you have a means for for forgiveness. And exactly. as you said, it's an undeserved exactly. kindness. Correct. I cannot say how God would judge me. That's not for me to say. I have I have the hope and I try my best uh, to do everything I can to get that. But you cannot. But I because you naturally lie, you naturally stole, you naturally commit adultery. Yeah. That's why you don't deserve flesh. that's why you need Jesus. Yes. It's like if you are in front of a judge. And the judge says, uh, remember your name, remember Ellis. Ellis, you have committed three very, very uh, um, bad um, uh, crimes. crimes. You deserve jail, okay? Right. Or you need to pay $5 million. Can you pay that? No. It's but very high. Jesus pays it. Exactly, exactly. Jesus and pays. See, here's the and what you need is just to repent and trust alone in Jesus and Jesus pay the fine and here's okay? the thing many people we speak to uh -huh. believe that we don't believe everything that you've said okay we do we accept Jesus as our Savior we accept him as the only way to God we accept that he died for our sins we accept that he served as our king as mm -hmm. our high priest just as the priest served in the Hebrew scriptures uh -huh. so the differences that people believe that there are between us are not as pronounced as people believe. Mm -hmm. uh, the issue is with uh, who we believe to be God's representatives. Mm -hmm. Now whether you, the first thing you have to accept is or 
reason on is does God have, does he need representatives on the earth? We, I am a representative of him. But if you notice, are you familiar with Matthew yes. 24, 14? Yeah, 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 yes. So he speaks there about the times that we live in, uh, mm -hmm. the last days. He talks about the conclusion of a system of things, right? So he mentions many things. He talks about warfare, nations rising against nation, kingdom yeah, against yeah, yeah. kingdom, Correct. sickness, earthquakes, many things that we see today. Yes. But as you move on, he also mentions the good news of the kingdom. So he says in verse 14, the good news of the kingdom will be preached in all the inhabited earth for witness to all the nations. So and what is the good news? Of, God, of God's kingdom. The good news is that Jesus, Jesus yes. died for our sin. And that is the gospel. But it's, it's not everything. Because it's limited. The gospel? No. Jesus' death. It's was, limited? Yeah, because it was, it was a means to an end. So how did God intend us to live? Did he intend us to need a mediator between him and us? That's what the Bible says. No, he didn't. Of he, course. He created let, Adam and Eve. No, no, let me show you the verse when he says, the only mediator between God and human is Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, it is. Now. Yes, always. It's the only way. But it wasn't his original intention. Because what, the, what, what happened... The people in the to, Old Testament and the yes. people in the New Testament, where, what did they believe? They believed in, in, in the one that is one, it was going to be born, Jesus, to save the Messiah. Which they look in, that. Yeah, yeah, but, before but they that. look into that. Before and today that. we look into the past. All sides come together exactly in the same point, Jesus Christ. And the first time that that's mentioned is uh -huh. Genesis 3.15. Uh -huh. We're talking before that. Can I read you a verse? Yes. Genesis 5.12. Notice what it says. It says, mm -hmm. That is why, just as through one man, sin entered into the world, uh -huh. and death through sin, so death spread to all men, because they had all sinned. Uh -huh. Do you notice at the beginning it says, death entered into the world. For something to enter into the world, mm -hmm. it means it wasn't there before. Correct. So that's the point that Ellis is making, that God's original purpose was not for sin to exist. Yeah, I it agree with that. Yes, I agree. So we need Jesus as a mediator now because of our sin. But in God's original purpose, the mediator would never have been necessary. Yeah, you you, you need to you need to to read uh, to read before then. Let, let me let me switch to Spanish because this is too tough. <laughs> también también también. One more scripture. Sí. And then out because then I won't be able to contribute anymore. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so what he mentions, Jesus is necessary. Okay. So now if we go fast forward, Jesus has died for our sins. Mm -hmm. We all have a relationship with God only through Jesus. Correct. But notice what the Apostle Paul says about the future. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he's talking about a time after this. Mm -hmm. So in First Corinthians chapter 15. Mm -hmm. From verse 24 it says next the end when he hands over the kingdom to his god and father speaking about jesus mm -hmm. jesus hands the kingdom back to god his father mm -hmm. he has brought to nothing all government all authority and power nothing will be able to stand against jesus he will be the he will be the king of everything mm -hmm. the prince of peace mighty god as the scriptures say mm -hmm. it says he must rule as king until God has put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy, death, is to be brought to nothing. Death will be no more. Mm -hmm. For God subjected all things under his feet. But when he says that all things have been subjected, it is evident that this does not include the one who subjected all things to him. Mm -hmm. So it differentiates Jesus from God there. It says that everything was Jesus, under Jesus, except God himself. Mm -hmm. And then in verse 28, but when all things have been subjected to him, then the Son himself will also subject himself to the one who subjected all things to him, mm -hmm. that God may be all things to everyone. So the scriptures clearly tell us that there will be a time once we have reached perfection, once death is no more, once Satan is destroyed, sent mm -hmm. to Gehenna, once all wicked people are sent to Gehenna, or as you call it, hell, mm -hmm. only then will Jesus be able to say, my job is done. 
the job that you gave me, the job that God gave Jesus, is finished. Mm -hmm. Finally, we will be able to live the way that God intended us to. We will no longer need anyone between us. Mm -hmm. We can all have a personal relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Jesus will have fulfilled his role and he will go back to being the firstborn of God, the closest person that there is to him, but we will no longer need him to serve as a mediator between mm -hmm. us. So at the moment, yes, he is essential and he is everything. Without him, we have nothing. But it's Without me, you can do nothing. Exactly. Says. But he's serving a, a role. And yeah, and I, and I agree totally with you. But that's in the future. That's once, when, when God, let's say, make a new world, new everything, okay? But today, today is important. How can we save people? They need Jesus. Yeah. They need Jesus. But they need to acknowledge, acknowledge his role. Yeah, it's yeah. Not, it's, it's not is this to his... say, Jesus saved me and then do nothing. No, 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 no. We have to... There's, there's two things different, okay? Jesus can be my savior, but also needs to be my Lord, the one that makes me live in a different way. I, I, I didn't used to do that, to do this, to, to spell the word. Jesus changed my life, God changed my life, and then this became uh, something very important to share the gospel. But in the la in the in before I received Jesus, I didn't do that. I, I was nunca nunca hacía esto. Hoy lo hago porque él me transformó. Okay, y ese es el mensaje que ahora comparto. Eh, les doy muchas gracias por por what compartir. Did wanna, what did you want to say uh, before I, I interrupted you? Before what? When I, before I interrupted you, you were going to say something. Ah, bueno, es que. Uh, cuando hablabas, when you talk about Eden and 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 Abe and, yes. and the, in the past, okay, in that time they needed also a savior. Do you remember the lamb, uh, God or the animal, uh, God sacrificed in order to give them clothes, because they used um, some uh, uh, trees leaves to cover himself themselves, because uh, our their eyes were open. Only, okay, because of the, after because of the scene day. of disobedience yes. they did with God, the God, and then and then God come, came to him. Did where are you, Adam? Did did know did did God know where where he was? Of, of course. course. Why did he ask him to give him the opportunity to repent? But he never he he didn't tell. His, the woman you gave me as my wife, he yeah. she told me to and shifted the blame. Exactly, and then yeah. she made the same with the, the serpent. Exactly. And everything came to, to the fault of, of Satan, exactly. okay? And then he was with the serpent, and then he was with the with the woman, and then with the men. It was a punishment, okay? You need to work the land, and you vas a su, con el sudor de tu frente, etc. Pero luego, but, but, but then after, he, he said something very important. Um, and, and that is on the, on the Genesis uh, 3, when he said, um, eh, tú pisar, la ser, the serpent will bite you in, 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 okay and, and when he he was talking about the seed he was talking about Jesus, Jesus. since ever yeah. Jesus has been always a need okay and that's what I was trying to to, to explain you Jesus has been ever the I'm, center of the human sorry being. I don't understand um, at what point you were talking about that every person in this world needs Jesus as the Savior. Without Jesus, you can do no more. So you, you, I understand that Jesus need not only not only to accept Jesus, and, and this is, the, I, I remember the point, that you can, you can receive Jesus as your Savior and, and make him your Lord, okay? The, the punishment or the Gehenna or the hell, whatever, after you die, it's paid by Jesus. If you believe in the, in the payment of Jesus in the, in, the, in, the, in the cross. But it's up to you also to live according to God. And that's what we need to do, reading the Bible, studying the Bible, and go out and teach the gospel to the first, to, to everybody. You mentioned our book. The what? You, you mentioned our book. Where's it going? The book? Uh, something you something took, uh, have you read it? I, I do have some of your some of your books. Yes, okay. I do some. For, for what, uh, there's a, there's a, uh, why, what, what, what the Bible really teach or something like that. Okay. And, and well, I've, I've, been, I've found a lot of different <laughs> things. What I've, I believe, I don't, I, don't, I don't represent any religion. I, I don't have any religion. I don't need religion. I need Jesus and that's only I, I, I need. 
Um, and this is this is a, a verse that you you might be interested in. First of Corinthians two fourteen. Search it. Yeah, first first Corinthians two fourteen. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. In order to understand the Bible, he never say you need to read the the, the books of the human or need to read some books. No. In, it, in order to understand the Bible, you need the Holy Spirit. Who was the author of the word? God. So, how God can be in your in your in your person? How do you receive God in you? How do God lives in you? Bible and prayer. No, 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 no. I mean, how can God come to Holy live Spirit. in exactly <laughs> the Holy Spirit? But that is why it's it's who, it's who it's not it's not it's not yeah well men wrote the Bible but it it was inspired it also said in the Bible it was inspired by God yes. God led them what to write yeah. okay and they write it but it's so not by men Jehovah's Witnesses we uh -huh. do not claim to be inspired of God uh -huh. but like Moses who was a chosen person but he was inspired he was inspired he was inspired he, was inspired. Yes. he wasn't talk his word but the word of God right. so now Jehovah Witness speak the word of God no, just as I okay. said, we're not inspired. Guarda, ayúdalo, papito, te va a guardar. But we've been a, God has to have an appointed people. Uh -huh. Otherwise, the work is not organized. The work cannot be, you cannot, Jesus said, you will do works greater than these. Mm -hmm. You cannot do what Jesus wanted you to do on your own. It's uh -huh. impossible. It's impossible. You need an organized... Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold a minute. What I'm doing... Yeah. To share the gospel. Yes. Is that what Jesus wanted to me to do? Yes. That's it. That's it. But you can't. <laughs> but remember what we read. His uh -huh. goal is for the good news to be spread to all nations. Correct. You cannot do that alone. Not alone. Jesus couldn't do it alone. What did he need? Twelve disciples. Yeah, and then seventy, and then thousands, and then an appointed people who were. And that's what we need to do. Yes. To be his disciples. That is why we are Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah. We accept Jesus as our savior, but we also accept the need for an organized religion. We accept that we need Jesus always God has always had appointed people to do his work. Mm -hmm. And it's not it's no different now. But in the times of Jesus, yeah. Where where were the Jehovah Witnesses? They they didn't exist. And He's always had witnesses. No, no, yeah, witnesses. But, yeah. Witnesses, yes. That it's it's because we testify yes. of him. But well, Catholicism, Buddhism, no. that, that none of that exists. Well, but in that time, people also saved. Yeah. Why is it different today? It's it's the same. Well, what was, we can be his his messengers. What was Jesus? Was he a Christian? No, he was a Jew. Mm, and he was a faithful Jew. He was and a his faithful Jew. Were yeah. Faithful Jews, because uh -huh. at the time, that was God's chosen people. Mm -hmm. After Jesus, they were no longer His chosen people. Who was His chosen people after? Mm -hmm. It was the congregation. It was the apostles. It was the elders in Jerusalem who made decisions, who wrote letters mm -hmm. that we could read them today. Correct. So the question is: Does He have a chosen religion today? Does He have a chosen? According way? to the Bible. There's according. none. According to the Bible, there's none. Okay. What is the true religion? What the Bible says about the true religion? The true religion is, is it's, it's, uh, you read uh, Santiago in English? James. James. What says James? There's no religion. Jesus, Jesus didn't came to the world to teach a religion. He, he came to teach a message of salvation. And that is the same. That's why religion does... You don't need the religion to be saved. The religion never, the religion didn't die on the cross. Who died on the cross? A religion or a man? That's what you need. How were you? <laughs> how did you learn about Jesus? By the Bible. Okay. Who someone. Print, who printed it? Someone. <laughs> someone told me. Well. Someone has to do it. Someone. Someone told yeah. me about Jesus. So, without a religion, there will be no one to do the work. One last question. Yeah. If I'm not a Jehovah Witnesses. Tell me sincerely, am I going to be with God if I'm not a, a Jehovah Witness? That's not for us to that's say. That's not for us huh? to that's say. Only God exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so that's why I started with that question. What do I have if I convert into Jehovah Witness? 
Am I ha going to have something different of what I have right now? Only you can answer that. Is, is the Bible answered? <laughs> but you haven't tried. No? Yeah. If my mom my mom used to be a, a Jehovah Witness. My used grandmother used to be a, a Jehovah. Yeah. Well, they already died. Okay. Okay. Well, all I can say is, uh, try again. <laughs> That's all I can say. Is for, for me, if Jesus Christ is enough. Yeah. If you do, uh -huh. you might gain something. If you don't, there might be something that you're not gaining. Do you but think? Either way, you're not going to miss. Do anything. you think? Is there something else better than eternal life for me? No. I already that. I already have that eternal life. Is that something so better for be me? Sure because of Jesus. Because of what the Bible says. If you have the Son, you have the life. If you don't, if you don't have the Son, you don't have the life. That's in First of John, chapter 5 and verses 11 and 12. Read it. If you have the Son, you have the life. If you don't have the Son, you don't have the life. I have the Son, I have the life. That is what God says. What man says, I don't know, but they always wrong. But God never make mistakes, okay? What about, one more thing, one more thing. What about if Jesus says to you, when you're there, you're resurrected, mm -hmm. He says, uh, you saw the Jehovah's Witnesses, uh -huh. they were trying to do the work that I gave them to do, why didn't you listen to them? I'm listening to you. <laughs> I've listened to them, they, they have been... Uh, Almost every Saturday they come into they my place, regularly. yes. Cool. And I've and I've talked to him a lot. Yeah. And and I, I've received some of your some of your literature. Yeah. But when I give him my literature, they don't receive it. Yeah. Because for them, for you, this is not good literature. That well, is something that who is that from? It, huh? You said you it's, weren't part of a religion. No, 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 no. This is this is something that uh, I'm not a religion but but we are a group of Christians that produce this, and, and this is, is does, doesn't invite you to form or to come to our religion. What it, what it says here is the message, the gospel. You need that Jesus in order to be saved, to be born again. That's the message. We never invite you to come to us and, and join us. And we, no, no, no. What we share is the gospel. It's like, like, the, like, like the message from the, I don't know how to say it, Eunuco in English. Philip went into the, the eunuch. And he says, hey, and he was explaining the, the word of God, and, and he says, there's water in there. What can uh, pide que yo be baptized? If you believe of your, of your heart, you can be baptized. And then Philip just disappeared, and he went happy his way. Happy because of the joy to be received Jesus Christ. And that's what I have today, that they're happy to have Jesus in eternal life. There's nothing else more important for me than have eternal life. We'll keep going. Yeah, That's correct. Good. This is this is this is hasn't finished yet. No. Okay. There's much more to come. <laughs> yeah, much more to come. Thank you very much to be talking to you. It was yeah, it was great to talk to you. Nice to meet you, you and have a great day. Bye. -bye.